Hey guys, Richard for two back. As you can see, I have Tekken on the camera. Let me show you what I'm going to be doing a review of. They're Pro 4, short course, focus. Anyway, that's the motor right there. They're Pro 4, four pole, censored, it says right there underneath the 4000 KV by Tekken. It does not come with wire soldered on, but it does. In a, did it come with the sensor wire? I believe it did. Yeah, I believe it came with the sensor. Yeah, it came with the sensor wire. Don't quote me on that. But yeah. <sighs> yeah. Aluminum housing. It's kind of got not deep fins, but some, I guess, kind of pathetic looking fins or whatever. It's got a thick um, drive shaft. Output drive shaft, I should say. No, just drive shaft or whatever. It's whatever it is. By Tegan, it's really good. It's a good motor. It's, let's check out some specs. Censored, um, censored base design with removable sensor wire. Avail it comes in um, 4,600 kV. And um, this is a Redline series, I guess. Their Pro 4 Redline, whatever. Yeah, it's their Redline series. It comes in 4,000 kV, 4,600 kV, and 3,300 kV. The motor length is 21.1 inches. No, 2.1 inches, my bad. Sorry about that, guys. And or 52.9 millimeters. The motor diameter is 1.4 1, 1 inches and or 35.8 millimeters. And the shaft dimensions are 0.36 inches, I mean point sixty, my bad. Sorry, I keep looking at other numbers. Point sixty inches and by um point one nine six inches. And uh whatever you guys can see the rest of the stuff as soon as I can stop shaking. But yeah. There's all the specs for you guys. Da 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 da. You can pause the video if you want. And yeah, let me just look at all the stuff on here. Sorry about taking so much time out of your days and lives and whatever. Kind of bore you with all my videos and whatever. But yeah, if you guys want, you can pause the video and read this. I'm not going to go through this. I'm going to turn it away now. Yeah, I got the 4000 KV version. It's marked by TeamTekin.com. No, I'm not sponsored. No, this is not a sponsored video or anything. But yeah, this is all insured through, I guess, the hobby shop, I should say. Or something like that. I guess I don't, don't, I don't know. I bought it at the hobby shop, so if something needs to be repaired or some system goes bad, uh, can just go there and have them take care of it. Because I took it there, they set it up, I didn't do a thing, all I'm doing is driving. And that's it. I haven't added anything else onto this. The one thing that I have swapped out from whenever I first driven it was the servo. It used to lock up whenever I would turn the wheels, but now it's so smooth. It's actually the servo from my Kyosho Ultima SC. But yeah, I can't really read that. But yeah, this um Oh here's some more specs. Pause that right there. And you can read all about it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I like this motor, it's very good. So I guess you could I kinda wanna say it. I don't know, I haven't tested them other motors over there. Right on the windowsill over there, the 9000 KV from Hobby Wing. It's over there, it's, I think it's a two pole or something. I'm not going to put it in here because I like my setup the way it is right here. So, anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching Rich for Two. Have a great day. Check out the website, richfor2.webs.com. Rate, comment, like, and subscribe. Recommend me some of your friends. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.